In New Super Mario Bros. U, there are five huge shortcuts that allow you to skip entire worlds of the game. But to access them, you'll first have to discover a secret level for each one via a hidden exit in one of the normal stages. One of these shortcuts can be found in each of the first five worlds, so let's get started. For Acorn Plains, head to the second level, Tilted Tunnel. When you reach this pink crystal platform near the end of the level, wait for the tilt allowing you to leap to the ceiling above. Follow it to the blue crystal, which you can leap from to a hidden area above that. Then follow that to a warp pipe which leads to the level's hidden flagpole. This will unlock the path to Acorn Plains' secret level, Blooper's Secret Lair. And finishing that level will unlock the secret shortcut to Soda Jungle, allowing you to bypass the rest of Acorn Plains and all of Lair Cake Desert, Sparkling Waters, and Frosted Glacier. For Lair Cake Desert, head to the fourth level, Spike Spouting Sands. Now head toward the end of the level, just past the third star coin, and look for a hidden pipe beneath the level's final arrow sign. The catch is that you have to be small to fit through the gap. But worry not, for even if you're Big Mario, you simply need to run and then crouch to fit through. The pipe will blast you to an area where you'll find the level's secret flagpole. This will reveal the path to Larrakick Desert's secret level, Piranha Plants on Ice. And finishing that level will unlock a secret shortcut to Soda Jungle, allowing you to bypass both Sparkling Waters and Frosted Glacier entirely. For Sparkling Waters, head to the Haunted Shipwreck. Now head to the ship's third room and work your way up to the signpost. Once there, jump up to the ledge on the right and head to the far end to give yourself some running room. Then run back toward the sign and jump as you pass it. Perform a couple of wall jumps immediately after to reach a secret area with a door. It eventually leads to the level's hidden flagpole, which reveals the path to Sparkling Water's secret level, Skyward Stock. And beating that will unlock a secret shortcut to Rock Candy Mines, allowing you to bypass Soda Jungle entirely. For Frosted Glacier, head to the Swaying Ghost House. Once you reach this room, grab a couple of coins to create a hole, then activate the P-Switch. Now immediately jump through that hole onto the blocks which will follow you upward. Jump as fast as you can to reach a secret door in the ceiling well above the main one before the P-Switch expires. That door eventually leads to the level's secret flagpole. This will reveal the path to Frosted Glacier's secret level, Fliprust Lake. And finishing that level will unlock a secret shortcut to Rock Candy Mines allowing you to bypass Soda Jungle entirely. For Soda Jungle, head to the Witchway Labyrinth Ghost House. From the start, head through the door on the far left. It'll take you to a room with a platform that rises when you stand on it. Ride it past the main door all the way up to the ceiling. You'll find an entrance to a secret area on the left and it contains a second door. That door eventually leads to the level's secret flagpole. This will reveal the path to Soda Jungle's secret level, Flight of the Parabeetles. And finishing that level will unlock a secret shortcut to Moraine Clouds, allowing you to bypass Rock Candy Mines entirely.